Hey there, I'm Kaylee, and I'm going to walk you through designing your site map. A site map is just what it sounds like. It's a map of your website, all of the pages that you want to have, and how they will connect together. Before you really get into the nitty gritty of designing your website, you absolutely need to have a site map. It makes the process so much simpler if you have this planned out first. I'm going to walk you through a few simple ways to create your sitemap. As you create your sitemap, you should be thinking about the different pages that you want to have on your website and the hierarchy that they'll follow. What pages will your homepage link to? You'll probably have enough space for five or six top tier pages in your navigation, like your about page, a contact page, and then maybe you have products, services, or locations as other pages. From each of those pages, you can link to other subpages like specific services, products or product categories, team member bios, and so on. But I'll get more into that in a minute. The first sitemap that I'll show you is a simple list that you can make in any text document. Word, Google Docs, Notepad, you can even write it down on paper. This type of sitemap is great for smaller websites with like 10 to 15 pages or less. So first I'll start by opening a Google Doc and show you how to make it. So we'll open up a Google Doc to type out your sitemap list. And this is really simple. So start with your home page. That's what all of your pages will link from. From there, we'll have our top tier pages, like maybe your about page, a products page, services, and a contact us page. And you don't have to have these pages. This is just a basic uh, starting point if you want to try that. And from those top tier pages, you can link to other subpages. So hit enter after any of them, tab a couple times, and start making your list. In about, you might want executive bios and maybe mission statements and maybe even a team page. And then under your products page, you can add specific products or product categories. So I'll just do product one two and three for now. All right, and then you have, we have our services page, so we'll just do the same thing for that. We'll say three services, but you can do whatever you need to for your specific website that you're making. And that's as simple as it gets. This took me less than two minutes to write up. This is the sitemap for a 14-page website. It's really simple and quick to write up. Writing your sitemap like this will give you a clear direction to take when you start designing, and it will help you create a clear navigation that will make your site much more user-friendly. The other option that we suggest using for creating your sitemap is making a flowchart. This is great for websites that are more than 10 to 15 pages. There are a ton of different programs out there for creating a sitemap and a flowchart. You can even draw one like this. I'll post some different options below the video and walk you through one of my favorites. So the one I like to use is called Slick Plan. And if you come, go to slickplan.com and we'll provide the link for you. Come to their page and start a 30-day free trial. There's no credit card required, so all you have to do is sign up real quick and get in there. So you'll come to a dashboard like this, and then from there, just hit Create a New Sitemap. So I'll just call mine Sample for now and then create it. Once you get started, it has all these different options for adding pages, so we'll just add our home page since that's what everything links from. And then you can add all your top tier pages that we talked about earlier. So we'll add our about, and then you wanna just add pages right here that'll pop up for you. We'll do products again, services, and a contact page. And then from there, all you have to do is come over here and add sub pages for all of these. So you can have your executive bios if that's what you want. Um, you could add more products or product categories if you have a lot of different products. And just continue adding pages as you need to. I'll show you my finished one right here that I created earlier. So we have an about page with our executive bios, and from there you can link to other sub pages for each of your different executives. On your services, you can link to different service pages. 
products. I created a bunch of different category pages linking from the top page. And then there's specific products linking from each category page. So you can come in here and add as many pages as you want and create your sitemap as simple or as complex as you need it to be. And then after you're done creating your sitemap, what you'll want to do is import it here or export it. So we're just going to export it as a PDF. So make sure it says save as a PDF and then you can add as much of these little features as you want to. Um, and then we will export it. And then you'll just want to open that up and either send it to us as the PDF or print it out and bring it to your next design meeting with us. Once you've created your sitemap, whether you created a list or a flowchart, take a picture, bring the hard copy, or save a file that you can easily share with us when you come in for your design meeting. And we look forward to seeing you.